Hey everyone, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess and I'll try to be as instructive as possible throughout the game. But before we start, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily. So yeah, let's start off with the game now. Got the white pieces here. We'll try to play the learn system and I start off with pawn to d5, he plays d, pawn to d4, he plays d5, so now bishop to f4, he drops the knight, so the knight comes out on f3, okay, he's trying to play the similar setup, I'll play pawn e3 here, now probably offering him bishop exchange, because there's no other bishop square available for me, I'm trying to exchange the knight as well, or spoil his pawn structure if he doesn't take so he has to and take back with the dark square bishop and that creates some weakness on his king side taking advantage of that straight away via a check and then bringing back the bishop now we have to take the knight maybe this way Yep, we can try this. Okay, he's trying to exchange the queens. I don't really want to exchange the queens because he's down development for now. Let's give him a check. He saves with the pawn. I go ahead with the knight. I'm trying to hop in on c5 or maybe a5 now c5 looks more promising that comes with a check as well trying to take on the pawn now maybe with the queen or the knight wherever applicable let's see where he goes now depending on that we'll make the next move already good position i believe uh, I can take with the queen, I guess, here, and then probably go ahead with the knight. Yep. Queen looks more solid. And now, is that checkmate? Yep. That was fast. Against a similar rated player. Pretty quick, I believe. 16 moves, 2, two odd minutes. That's it. That's all it takes when you play the London system. I just try to explain the London system in a better way now that I've got time. The, the moves were pretty much fast. So it started with d4 uh, and he played d5. Now in the London system setup, you generally play uh, the dark square bishop first on the f4 and then pawn to e3. The other pawn comes on uh, c3 and you create a strong pyramid in the center, which is always helpful. Uh, and before creating this pyramid, you take out the dark square bishop, the bad bishop, uh, out, trying to make sure that, of, that it's of a good active square already. And then the light square bishop can probably come on uh, d, d3 or sometimes at uh, b5 as well if the knight is there on uh, c6. But here, since he had blocked uh, the b5 by moving the pawn to a6 in the game, so I tried to exchange the bishop uh, by keeping it on d3. So yeah, let's go ahead with the game. Uh, he played, I played bishop to f4. He develops the knight on uh, c6 here. So knight f3. Then he brings on the light square bishop on f5. Now, a uh, couple of options here. I go, went ahead with uh, e3. I could have played the pawn to uh, c3 as well. I'm never willing forward to play uh, c4 here directly because of course he can capture uh, but i want to go ahead with a strong uh, pyramid in the center making sure that the d file is always in my control so i played e3 first he blocks the uh, square for the bishop on b5 so i gave him bishop for exchange he takes i take back with the queen and then simply we try to exchange the knights in the next move which he takes and gives some advantage to white, uh, as you can see. I take back with the bishop, eyeing his king side diagonal. He tries to kick the bishop away, which is uh, 
natural move that you can think of. But now the problem is that we have opened up the diagonal for the queen. And that's what happens in the game. I go to g6, give him a check. Spoil is castling. Um, then he goes on d7. I bring back the bishop, saving my bishop. Now it's eyeing the right side uh, of the of the target. Uh, so always good. He tries to play c6 here, trying to make sure that I think his pawns are um, pretty much solid. But probably he should have gone ahead with e6. The idea is his bishop gets active. Uh, maybe that gives us square for the knight also to attack the queen and push it away from here. But he played c6 rather. And I thought of just taking out my uh, last minor piece remaining in the game. And the knight comes to d2. He offers the queen exchange, and which I deny. I bring back queen to g4, giving him a check. He saves with the pawn. Uh, that's the right move there. But then I get my knight on b3. Now the knight is going to hop in on a couple of squares. That was the plan. And here he tried to play the knight. And that was strange. Because you don't want to close a bishop diagonal, at least there. Maybe he was trying to play the knight and then push the pawn forward or I'm not sure what was his plan by bringing the knight. Maybe he was trying to exchange the queens by bringing the queen next. So uh, that's what he was trying to do. And I went on with knight to c5. As you can see, it's mate in three. As soon as he played knight, it's, it was mate in four. Just trying to find the right moves now. Uh, of course, uh, if he goes uh, down there, then I was probably thinking that I can take on with the knight. Uh, that was what I was thinking at that point of time. Uh, but here he goes to uh, c8 rather, and I took on the pawn, giving my check. The only square remaining for the king now, and final mate with the knight. So 16 move uh, win against a solid player, 1865 odd. And that's how you can wrap up games quickly with the London system. So do try it out and let me know your feedback. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the game. Please do like and share uh, the video and subscribe to the channel, press on the bell icon and stay tuned with all the latest videos that I'm posting daily. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.